Hey. I'm Justin, and this is my WRX project. I recently got a bug eye. I've done a couple things to her. And today, I'm gonna paint the wheels. So the paint on this thing is nasty all the way around. Like, it's just a horrible aftermarket, just spray job. It says, uh, do not paint roof on the roof. But the wheels are something that I can probably do and not mess up too bad. So uh, I'm gonna jack it up and get these ugly lug nuts off and uh, start cracking. So I've got all the wheels off and you can see there's some paint on here and they look horrible. So uh, hopefully I can, I got some 60 grit, some 200 and I think some 400. I don't know if it'll get all the way up there, but hopefully I can uh, get all this crummy paint scrubbed down. And uh, hopefully my studs aren't chewed up here because they, uh, these little spline lug nuts were on tight. I uh, think that they were probably just blasted on by an impact gun last time they were put on, but I guess it's time to start sanding. All right, got everything set up. Start sanding so I don't ruin the floor. And now it's time for the fun part. Start to take this down 60 grit. I did a, a lot of the low grit work with a palm sander, which uh, made really quick work of it. Kind of wish I could keep them this way because I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, you can tell that before that they were just sprayed over black. They were white with this little like kind of Volk, just one spoke red. But I think it's time to move on to uh, some of the places that are harder to reach. Uh, and then turn them over, get the barrels, and then go higher grit. And I think then after that, it's time for primer. All right, I think I'm done with the 60 grit. I've been uh, sanding my fingers off, just trying to get down all the shiny spots, all the old orange peel. And I think I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna move on to doing, I think, what do I got here? Uh, Two twenty with the hand, uh, palm sander right here. And then uh, I guess I'll touch up. I got some 60 on this sponge here. But uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna hit the tops of them with that. Then uh, probably flip around, do the barrels. 
I have a dust goatee and black hands now. So hopefully I get this over with soon. So the 220 is doing some good work. It's really smoothing out. Um, there's some deep scratches that I'm gonna have to get to just by hand that I'm not looking forward to, but overall they're looking pretty good. Uh, it's getting smooth. I mean, it's a big difference opposed to this. So I guess I think they'll, they'll all come out pretty good soon. This is the aftermath of the sanding. I just got it all done, did the barrels. Um, they're in pretty good shape, not perfect, but uh, I don't want to do any more prep. So I got all the sandpaper, got the old broom, and I just pressure washed off the wheels and I'm gonna let them dry in the sun for a minute and clean up. But uh, it came out looking kind of good. They look good in white, kind of distressed. But uh, I'm gonna let them dry up for a little while and then start setting up for primer. It's very important when you're painting. Prep is everything, but uh, prep is not fun. I'm glad it's over. Wheels are all dry. Just wiped them down with a rag and I got uh, note cards in. So it's time to spray now. I got some self-etching primer. Got two cans. So I got to do four wheels front and back. I hope it's enough. I think it'll be, but uh, I think I'm just gonna set y'all up and uh, start spraying. Primer on the back side, done. Wait for it to dry, flip them around, prime them, and then start the color. So off camera, I just did the fronts of the wheels. They're all primed and ready to go. And now it's time to do some color. So I'm gonna throw it in time-lapse and get that. So, the wheels are pink. <laughs> um, I just went with this Rust-Oleum Paint Plus Primer. It went on really smooth. Um, I was hoping to get like some VHT, like actual wheel paint, but I uh, uh, couldn't find any. So I guess like cabinet or like just general like hobby paint is good enough. Uh, it went on really nice. I think that one coat is enough. I'm gonna check in like 20 minutes, see if I need to touch it up at all. And then the plan is just to spray like a big nice coat of clear on it. Hopefully they come out pretty glossy. And then uh, gotta do the barrels and hopefully mount them on the car tonight. I don't know if I should do that or if I should just be patient and let them uh, cure overnight. But uh, getting pretty psyched. I, um, 
I didn't know if I was gonna like it when it first started spraying because it kind of came out like more bubble gum than I thought, but I think it turned out to be like kind of a nice raspberry kind of pink. And then on a gray car, hopefully they'll make it pop because I don't like gray cars. So hopefully it'll stand out a little bit afterwards. Uh, but we'll just have to wait and see. Well, it has been several hours of just, uh, well, I painted the, the barrels and did some clear coat and I uh, just did all that off camera. But now they're done. I just have to wait for the last coat of clear to dry. And uh, I think I'm gonna throw them on tonight and then just leave them on the car. let them dry overnight. Um, just hang in there. So uh, this is what they look like. So you can see the clear is starting to settle. It's trying to get the flash to go on so you can see better. Clear went on real nice. Uh, a little bit of orange peel, but it doesn't really bother me. So hopefully when uh, it's clear coat dries up, it'll be nice and hard and they won't look like shit after a week on the road. Uh, just at this point, after a whole day's work, uh, that the color goes well on the car. <laughs> and I still need some to do something about that uh, gas cap. So I don't feel like it matches after this. But man, I'm excited to get these mounted up with some brand new lug nuts and uh, get some armor all on these tires and it'll be the complete package. So it's all done. Uh, I just wrapped it up, set it down. I'm gonna let it dry overnight, but uh, I decided to see what it looked like. You get a better view in the daytime. I get some armor all on the tires, wash it up. But I'm digging the look. Gotta do something about that gas cap. I think the pink worked out. All right, well, it's several days later. I got the wheels painted up and they've uh, been holding up pretty good. I think that they're all set. Like, I don't see, I mean, after the wash, nothing came off. They seem like they're doing pretty good. Paint's holding up, not chipping off. So I think that was a success. The car's clean, it looks good. Uh, I just don't know what the vision is for this thing yet. It'd be fun to do like some bigger suspension, maybe go for like a rally thing, maybe do autocross, maybe just lower it a little bit more and make it a street car. I don't know. There's a lot of things I want to do though. Uh, but I like building boost. Um, but if y'all like this video, let me know if y'all want some more Subaru content. Uh, or uh, let me know what you think I should do next. I mean, exhaust's already all good. It needs a tune, needs some side skirts. I'd like to wrap it. But in terms of uh, where it's going next, in terms of like vision and doing big things, I really don't know. I mean, there's some little loose ends that I could tighten up, but for the most part, it's in pretty good shape. And I guess kind of a blank canvas. Thank y'all for watching. Uh, let me know if you want to see more Subaru content, if I should keep making videos for everything that I do on this car, or uh, if y'all have any ideas of what I should do next, then let me know. Peace.